could end up with another hound not to arrive at Englethwaite Hall here. The road it says road closed half a mile ahead. We don't know which road is closed. to arrive at Englethwaite Hall, Mark 2. Well, this is Coat's Coat Hill, Hill, isn't it? Is yeah. Is? Yeah. Yeah, and we know where we are now. Bob's just up here, isn't it? Turn left onto Front Street. Not down there, good grief. No. Is it here? Yeah, it is here, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because the no, the pub's just up there on the right. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So I cycled along here. In one and a quarter miles, arrive at Englethwaite Hall on the right. <laughs> arrive at what? This is the house with the um, replica Spitfire. That was it. Yeah. Nice queue built up behind us. Is it? Yep. Leading a little convoy. We don't need anything coming along here. We are back on the road we should have come in on. Although it's closed. It's been closed before, isn't it? Yeah. In a quarter of a mile, arrive at Nicholas Pipe Hall on the right. Englethwaite Hall, Mrs. Satnag. Well, we might have got it wrong. <laughs> Arriving at Englethwaite Hall on the right. <laughs> Looking very autumnal. It closes, doesn't it, again next week? Does it? Yeah, next Monday. So it's not open all year? Closed and at the reception. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
All right, T. Yeah, they put a roof on the, over the uh, water there, haven't they? But the motorhome service point thing's gone, isn't it? The drain. The drain's gone, yeah. Oh, OK. Do you want to do that? I know, she didn't tell What's you. There's one up there. I think there's one further up. Go over there, we haven't been up there before. Up the top. Tend to be a bit uh, wet, these pitches, and they sometimes down the bottom. Those tend to flood, don't they? Those yeah. ones on the right. Just whether we get a signal, just trying to. Uh... All right, Poppy, we'll get you out in a minute. Been on this one on the corner before, haven't we? Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Shall I fill up with water, though, first? Yeah, that's what we're aiming to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty empty, because obviously it's end of season here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Yeah, I think they put the, this in last time we were here, haven't they? Or they just put it in. It was a bit tight, wasn't it, that yeah. one? Oh, yeah. It's right by the entrance. It's a bit awkward as well. Right, so I'm just going to fill up. Purple pitches over there, so they're seasonal pitches, those two. I had to move back a little bit because my hose wasn't quite, <laughs> quite long enough to reach around the front of the van. But yeah, beautiful trees. Really nice. Yeah, very nice. Never had so much choice here. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's two pitches there. Oh, this one. This one here. This right. one here. Oh, no. That, oh, that, it's, it's a, that one, isn't it? It's yeah. that one. Yeah. OK. Do you want to go into this one behind us, then? No. Go, go right. here. OK. Next to the Cadiz. Yeah, we just realised there's water right behind us, isn't there? Well, <laughs> We've we run a hose pipe here, from here we? to there, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, this pitch here would have been fabulous if you're coming with some friends, wouldn't it? You have the whole sort of area to yourself, <laughs> couldn't you? Yeah, never been in this area before. No, it's like, it's all like a whole new campsite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to do an arriving at video today, but it just feels like it's completely different. Because we always go to the same spot really, doesn't it? It's just so beautiful, all the colours. Got a little bug house there, Poppy. Look, a little bug house up there. Engelbug Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you've never seen Englethwaite Hall before, it's uh, it's 
£25 a night, mainly because there's no toilet or shower block facilities here. So you do need your own facilities, but it is beautiful. <laughs> so what day is it? <laughs> I was getting really confused what day it is, because <laughs> normally we go away on a Thursday and I was thinking, yes. well, we're staying here for one night. Turns out we're <laughs> staying here for two nights and it's a Tuesday. Yeah, and it's not £25 a night, it's £22.50 a night, I think it is. I just had to pay the balance of £25, <laughs> right. Because I paid £20 when I booked it. OK, I'm yeah. glad we sorted that out. So we're here for two nights, right? got that straight right. now. OK. It's quite soggy here. It's quite soggy, yeah. Oh, it is. It's too soggy, Pops. Come too on. soggy, Poppy. Come on. It's going to be all right in the forest, Pops says. Be all right in the forest, she says. Poppy absolutely loves it here. Last time we were here was when the Queen had died, so it's nearly two years ago now. Yeah, and that was on the way to uh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Yeah. Not just I'm not ready for autumn. Autumn comes too soon. Turns out we were here. <laughs> we were here last <laughs> last year. <laughs> We're here with Trev and Sue and Glyn and Sharon. Yeah, <laughs> this is when we planned our, start planning our Euro trip. Yeah, that's right, we were here planning our Euro trip. What do you reckon, Pops? Hey, is it all right? Is it okay? We'll have to come back here later, won't we? Can you hear Pops? They've done away with the little um, houses, haven't they? Oh, yeah, they were there, weren't they? Yeah. They've probably gone away for the winter. I think I'll have to put some footage in from last year here. They've done away with all the little uh, trolls and uh, fairies houses. Oh, what a shame. Here's the uh, Mahoosive dog area. Oh, you can let them off there. Go on, Pops, I need, need something to drink Is that there. where we are, up there? Yeah, just up here. There we are. Chemical disposal and bins just behind where we're parked. Yeah. Looking very cute today, Poppy. Aren't you? She is actually looking really well. Yeah, oh, that's good. 
How about you, T? You're just sleepy, aren't you? You're sleepy, aren't you? You've got sleepy eyes, haven't you? Yeah. It's a really nice, quiet corner, this is. Just put the cover on, but didn't want to lose the daylight, so I've just rolled the front of it down. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be back in the van. It's only been a week, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it a week? It's a, oh, just well, a week. Just a it? week. Yeah. Came back yeah. last Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So, way. so we're on our Halloween break, in case you haven't guessed from the thumbnail. What to be doing Halloween faces or something? No, oh, no we've, we've, so we've already got them on. Haven't <laughs> no, no, we? you, don't, you don't need to bother. No, <laughs> say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm very nice, Tara. Yeah. So we thought we'd do our November update uh, whilst we're here at Englethwaite Hall. We're back from the NEC. Yeah, it's November the first, isn't it today? Yeah, we've we've managed our way through Halloween. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was very, very quiet last night. Really, really quiet. We've still got some videos from our Europe trip to come and uh, our last few days in Belgium and back on the shuttle. I've got a really special video for Remembrance Sunday as well. And that will feature... That will feature... Um, we, I finally really found out what happened to my granddad on oh, July the 31st, 1917 how he was captured, what happened to his regiment. All right, so... So we'll, that's going to be part of our Remembrance one on... For Remembrance Sunday. Sunday the 12th, isn't it? Yeah, so do watch out for that. Uh, I want to thank everyone for um, who's watched the NEC videos. I really enjoyed making those videos. You came in on the Tuesday. Tuesday yes. Uh, I went in on the... Um, Wednesday. Wednesday and the fr uh, on the Saturday, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Which was really... You were there practically all day the Wednesday, weren't you? Because yeah. you're meeting people. Yeah. I filmed yeah. about 30 motorhomes, and, uh, and if you have missed any of those videos, I'll put the playlist. Uh, I never know which way it's up there somewhere, because this is reversed as well. So <laughs> Could be anywhere. <laughs> Could be anywhere. <laughs> uh, we're currently on our Halloween bonfire getaway. Yes. And uh, that really involves being at Englethwaite Hall. But we're off to meet up with Bob and Aileen at South Valley Field uh, certified location. No, certified site. Certificated site. site. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing so well. Oh, no. Do, you do that bit again. <laughs> no, you're right. We haven't been to a whole lot of CSs before, have we? I think no, probably well, we only... have been to one or two, but, you know, it's a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, so I... what is a CS? And <laughs> I've mucked it up for you. Yeah. Certificated site. Uh, it's a it's certificated by the Camping and Caravanning Club. So if you know what a CL is, that's uh, with the Caravan and Motorhome Club. It's a small campsite with a maximum of five pitches. Uh, facilities will vary, but uh, some will have all the facilities, but others may just have water and waste disposal. You know, so some might be quite basic. Others may be a full campsite. So we're looking forward to that. Now, a few of our regular viewers I've asked, where have we been? been? I know. <laughs> One person asked, when are we going to the Orkneys? Yes. <laughs> Which I thought was a bit odd. Now, I suspect those people haven't got the notifications um, icon turned on, you know, where you get notifications if you release a video. So, if you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help us. It's free. Yeah. And if you want to know when we go to the Orkney Islands, turn on the notifications. I mean, it could be could explain why sometimes we get fewer of your regular viewers are watching this video because um, they're, they're not being notified. Not being notified. No, no. So see, if if YouTube thinks there's not enough drama in this video, which uh, often there isn't. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so uh, you you won't get notified of it. So don't rely on YouTube to always tell you what we're up to. Uh, that notifications icon is your, is your friend if you want to keep following us. I just want to do a quick follow-up on how I'm getting on with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, which I think I got about seven months ago. And mm. I agreed with EcoFlow when they sent me, sent me the Delta 2 and the River Pro for review. So I, I, I thought, well, I thought it'd be interesting anyway. But first of all, I've had no issues with it. Yeah. It's been really reliable and it's pretty well made. Let me just show you it. 
Oh. What's this uh, little beastie here? Now, it's got a 750 watt hour capacity, an 800 watt inverter, and the best thing of all is it's got a 100 watt USB C socket, which I'm currently using to power my laptop. Because yeah, they guess... don't all have that, they're not, do they? No, it's a powerful one like that to charge your laptop. No, because guess who forgot to bring the, the charger for the laptop? Yes, yeah. Thanks, T. <laughs> It was me, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. Wasn't wasn't Tara, she said she didn't hey. forget it. All right, you two. Uh, so, and it's got obviously the US, usual USB sockets. It does have something called X Boost. And now, it, I, in my video, which I'll put a link up here somewhere, <laughs> it, it will power devices over 800 watts more than its capacity. But really, that is more useful for running sort of non-complex electronics like a hairdryer. You can get into terrible trouble with coffee makers, can't you? If we have done in the past, haven't we, with some of them, yeah. Yeah. You evolved a hell of a lot of cleaning because it exploded. <laughs> it expl the pod. exploded the pod, so don't yeah. do that. And it won't work very well with the electronics in the motor once you get over 800 watts. It, I did try that um, on here, and it will top up the leisure battery. Um, you can use it for an emergency top up, but when it went over 800 watts, it started causing all sorts of weird problems with the smart panel. Yes, yeah, so yes, uh, it wasn't happy, was it? Yeah, so it won't power everything in the motor. Uh, it's either a case of topping up your battery, perhaps uh, running the fridge, or it could do like one bar of electric heating, but uh, only one of those at any time. So I've mainly used it at home. It's been sitting next to my armchair. Uh, and it's been topping up um, my laptop. It's most useful for charging up a, a laptop like my Dell XPS 15 because it's got this 100 watt charger. And charging my phone, um, GoPros, uh, mics, uh, and generally doing that overnight. But the best thing of all, of course, is it's pretty powerful for a small power bank uh, and it's easy to carry around. Uh, and because I've been sent the uh, the more powerful um, Delta 2 Max, which I've got underneath the, the camera here. Uh, I don't tend to use this in the motorhome, but if I had to buy it with my own money, I think it's certainly something I'd consider and I'd find it pretty useful uh, and space saving. And more importantly, uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room in the motorhome and it's easy to carry around. You can take it just about anywhere with you uh, and you can fit it in and out of lockers, use it in the awning or indeed just outside if it obviously it's not raining like it is today. <laughs> So yeah, a great bit of kit, but don't expect it to be the solution for everything if you do do a lot of off-grid. Yeah, I mean, one thing I noticed last week, we had a leaflet, didn't we, from uh, the SP Networks? Who, yeah, I think it's Scottish Power Networks, isn't it? I right, think that's what okay, it stands then, for. Um, Can I just put that down there? Yeah, Yeah, and that was saying, um, in, you know, if you're worried about power cuts, then the main thing to make sure is your mobile phone is charged up. But then it also mentioned power banks. Yeah, and of course you could charge your mobile phone up, but it's going to lose. It will lose that power charge, eventually. It obviously, it depends you, how, how long the power cut goes that's on. That's right. But if you've got something like that, obviously yeah. Um, yeah. you can carry on charging. It's, it. it's certainly, I think, something every household should have at least one. Yeah, and this is quite, quite. I mean, a friend Alison, we gave her the original River Two, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. she's been quite happy with that charging of phone and things. Yeah. So if you want to watch my full review, I'll put a link up here. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so next on our plan is our habitation and vehicle service at Todd's. And I'll let you know how that goes. And you're having a tooth out. No, I'm having a tooth out. I'm having oh, no, a... you're not. Here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's even, that's even worse. Yeah. No, I've got to have a crown replaced um, that I had done in about 2006, something like that. Um, it was pretty traumatic. Do you remember you came with me yeah yeah, yeah. and um he, he couldn't numb it enough for it to uh, stop making it so i was feeling every thing he was doing no. so that's the crown that's got to come off so i've got to have that done i think it's about the 14th of november something like that and then i've got to wait two weeks to have the replacement crown right so hopefully everything goes okay uh, i'm trying not to watch youtube videos about <laughs> 
removing a crown because uh, yeah i mean it's a really bad idea to watch youtube videos about an upcoming operation <laughs> Dude, trust yeah. me oh no because you you were the same with your cataracts yeah you? that's right so i'm not looking forward to that no. i'll be glad when it's over and hopefully it won't be quite well, so bad as hopefully I'm... it won't be too traumatic no no what we are looking forward to is a visit to a better uh, at the end of the month we're meeting up with glenn and sharon uh, whose channel just reached an amazing thousand subscribers. It does, yeah. 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 So well done to Glenn and Sharon. And if you haven't already subscribed to Glenn and Sharon, please yes. do so. Again, I don't know how many links I'm allowed in this video. I thought you were only allowed about three. I don't know, but uh, I'll try and put a link up there or put it down the bottom here somewhere. Uh, and then we're off to Warwick, a Warwick race course site. We've been there before, but we're meeting up with Trev and Sue and Kevin Tracy from Yorkshire Motor Roamers, and we might be planning another Euro trip, possibly including... Dusseldorf in September. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of days there. Yeah, we can't make our minds up whether we want to go north from there or south. If we go north, we're probably going to Denmark. Yes. And if we go south, we, we think we'd like to go down the romantic road down to the bottom. I know Helen and Martin uh, did a video recently, mm. which is at Fusen. Isn't yes, it? Yeah. which is the other end from where yeah. we were. Yeah. Yeah, and that looks absolutely amazing. There's an incredible castle there. Yeah. So, so I'd, I'd be interested to hear from viewers whether we think we should go to Denmark or to Denmark. or to Austria or southern Germany. Yeah, Bavaria. It Bavaria, is mainly, basically. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the scenery in Bavaria in their videos looks well, looks stunning. Terrific. Yeah, yeah it stunning. Did. Yeah. So uh, perhaps we'll just try and do both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't, we're only we're aiming to do sort of three weeks this time, aren't we? Because yeah. it was a little bit it was of a rushed. rush. It was a rush. We're trying to fit it in before the NEC, and yeah, you know, so it, we yeah. want to allow enough time because, to be honest, yeah. it was we both felt a bit tired, didn't we? First yeah. got to Summers Wood, yeah, because of, you know, the travelling yeah. back to the UK, back home, and then back down to Birmingham. It's a yeah. bit, bit much. Yeah, we want to space things out a bit, don't we? Next That's year. Right. That's right. I've got Poppy down here in case you're wondering what I'm, what I'm stroking here, <laughs> just trying to keep her calm. Yes. One other product review um, update I'd like to add is the Power Queen replacement lithium battery. Uh, it's working fine. I haven't made any other changes to the Motome uh, for the power supply for it, but there are some possibilities on the horizon and I'm working on that. So uh, just stay tuned basically to, <laughs> <laughs> to be updated on that. Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to say, and it, 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 I can understand it when we've had quite a lot of new subscribers in the in sort of recent years. I did a frequently updated questions uh, document about three years ago, mm. but we're often getting asked the same questions. <laughs> it, it's difficult to think. Oh, don't you know that sort of thing? You yeah, know, it, mainly about Mrs. Satnag. I don't know why. Yeah, Mrs. She... Satnag's fe featured quite recently <laughs> Who is she? in a lot yeah. of the questions uh, so um there is a document and uh in every video every video there's a link to my frequently asked questions and you just need to scroll down a bit uh, to find the link to that to that document so uh, do have a look at it even if you've not if you've looked at it recently i do try and keep it updated uh and uh, and if you're new to the channel then please do check it and uh yeah, so that's only on a mobile or on a computer, isn't it? You can't look at that, obviously, on, on, a, on, on a smart TV. On, if you're looking on a smart TV, yeah, no, you need to look on a computer or, or a, a mobile phone. Um, I think also we, we want to update a video we did about looking at reading things on a smart TV as well. Mm. There have been a few changes to uh, how smart TVs work and... One of the things we actually realise is you can actually see comments on our yeah, smart TV. I know. Well, I think we probably have got the the very up to date one yeah. version of it, but uh, uh, it's quite yeah. surprised that you you don't previously. Uh, I think you had yeah, you had to go to a channel yeah. in order to subscribe to it. Well, I I noticed that you can either go to the channel or subscribe, so it's yeah. a lot easier. Yeah, lot things seem to be a lot easier on the. But we'll, we'll do a separate yeah, video on that. That's right. Uh, Obviously, we need our smart TV, which I wish I got with isn't us. with us. No. The other thing I wanted to mention is a few people have asked us to look. And this has been going on for a few years, really. Ask us to look how accessible uh, campsites are for the less able-bodied uh, people. 
it's a difficult question to answer. We, we're not really qualified to cover this. Obviously, we're able-bodied ourselves. Um, and I think, I know they, they obviously just want us to show the, the, uh, whether the paths are accessible for wheelchairs and that sort of thing. But it's worth mentioning that caravan and motorhome club sites have an accessibility guide for every campsite. And, and uh, like this one here, uh, the camping and caravanning club also have one for each site like this one. I, th I think a lot of the private sites also have, have a statement. Yeah, I think by law they have to have an accessibility statement. Now, it's, it's something we couldn't possibly cover in every video. Uh, and there's also mm. legal implications if we said something was accessible and and it wasn't. Well, it wasn't because obviously they've had people who were trained to to look at what, whether a path is level or all yeah. sorts of things, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that's that's our basic problem that we don't we can say there's a ramp here or, or whatever. Yeah, well, but I mean, we can can't really we can beyond, film go it. beyond that. No, I mean we can film it, I and mean, obviously you can make your own mind up. But please do have a look at those accessibility guides if you've got any doubt about what the facilities on the site are. Yes. So thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Scotland <laughs> for, for the third time for the this third year, time isn't it? this year. Yeah. 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 We did actually go to the Orkneys, didn't we? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we are looking forward to that so if you haven't already you know what to do hit the the like button and all that good stuff and we'll catch up with you when it, we're at the cs yeah yep so thanks for watching we'll see you soon bye then bye then <laughs>